Monroe Region 2-4A. Who's going to win this one? A lot of ball clubs struggling early on in the campaign. Lawrence at home, 0-6 for the first time since 2009, trying to break through against Greer with its second straight 1-5 start. Ladanian Martin, though, looking to heat up. Nice run there to set up a touchdown that made it 21-0. Then in another drive, Chris Hall gets into the end zone. Noah Mosley hit him hard, but Hall hangs on, and Greer gets the victory there. 1-0 in the region. The reigning champs triumph 49-7. Riverside goes down the street, takes on Wade Hampton. Generals trying to protect the home field. Warriors had won four of the past five in the series. Wade Hampton team that's had trouble stopping folks this year, giving up 43 points a game. Alvin Martin says, why not? Seven zip Warriors on the road. Jack Stepp later to Hudson Patrick for a nice gain. Generals unable to do anything with that drive. Stepp later had it picked off by Robbie Robertson, kind of how it went. Riverside gets another win in the series against Wade Hampton. There's the interception off the deflection, 49-7. Region 1-2A, the Abbeville Panthers looking to defend their title and win yet another region crown going at it against Liberty, having won 19 in a row against the Red Devils. Carson Norman's touchdown, part of a Panthers win on the road. Abbeville gets to 5-1 overall, 40-3. At Blacksburg, Wildcats and Wildcats. That guy right there, Matthew Bennett, 96 head coach, back in his home parts. He's a Gaffney native. Just up the road, his team taking on Tracy Smith who's tackled for a loss by Jaden Hackett of 96. Later on, Joshua Sims keeps the play alive. And look at Shun Rogers. What a great catch that is for the touchdown. But 96 comes back. Zay King with a nice run for a first down. And 96 on the road, able to get the victory. They're out of the gate 1-0 in Region 1-2A with that triumph 26-14. Region 1-1A, St. Joe's suffering its first loss of the campaign against Southside Christian last week. They took out their frustrations on Calhoun Falls Charter. Braden Johnson gets them close, then he does the honors for a 14-zip lead in the second quarter. And the Knights improved a 6-1. They go to 2-1 in the region with a thumping of the flashes, 56-8. Elsewhere, the... Southside Christian Sabres, they're getting hot now. Another win for them. They're 2-0 in the region. They went on the road at Dixie. McCormick turns back visiting Ware Shoals. East side's heating up. That's four straight wins for the Eagles. They knock off Emerald and Landerman Chesney. As you saw the reports due to the tragedy in Chesney, that game was postponed. Meanwhile, 1A, 2A Mountain Foothills. Polk County trying to protect the home field against visiting RS Central. 2-0 team in the conference. Polk in the blue. Lawson Carter hooking up with Keandre Green. Grill made a nice catch. Later on, Angel Alvarez trying to make it happen. RS Central gets into the end zone with Boone Hodge. And on the road, the Hilltoppers able to make it happen for a while. But Polk County able to go on to the win 43-12. Polk goes to 4-3 overall and 3-0 in the conference. Chase turns back, Hendersonville on the road. East Rutherford, a big win at Patton, 58-6. The Vikings of North Henderson win over at Tuscola. And Wes Henderson stays unbeaten. Falcons flying high. They cruise at Smoky Mountain, 28-13.